daily <coughs> program on Nifty Bank Nifty Asia. Na. We're starting late because the FIA data came out only at 10 or 2 p.m. and then I had to, you know. <coughs> attend to some important stuff but uh, anyway it's good to see you uh, we didn't go live yesterday because again like, yesterday there was some important stuff happening on the sites but without further ado let's jump right into kyalagra market and see what the market holds for us right so let me share my screen and right so point number one let's look at nifty okay it is tantalizingly playing near the channel right it's it's very close to the channel it's very tempting to say that it's broken the channel but it hasn't really 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 broken out right it's just i mean the, if you shift it even a little bit over niche then it is like questionable has it broken the channel or not yesterday it looked like it broke the channel day before it looked like it broke the channel it looked like consolidation today's negative volumes were low that's very important because all the green candles which happened in the last 3 4 days were happening at uh, mega volumes compared to today but today despite an expiry day we have to have to have to notice that volumes were tiny and it is settling on the top of this uh, this uh, horizontal line right that's that's one thing so has the channel broken hmm. has the breakout been confirmed not yet so like we said yesterday right there was no point in doing any weekly uh, straddles or sorry weekly um, calls or anything because it was unlikely that a breakout would have happened uh, uh, but now yeah it is it looks like uh, it's going to consolidate for some time now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty is super strong but doji candles getting formed at all time wise it is not very nice so nifty tantalizingly nifty near the zone of breakout but breakout not happened yet today's sell red candle was low volume so i suspect uh, uh, bank nifty forming a doji basically wait and watch for a breakout is the long story short now let's look at option chain can i hold a call option for tomorrow yeah you should hold a call spread for a slightly longer expiry because nobody knows how long this is going to take and if reverses it's going to be a big problem now let's look at option chain right uh, i should look at next expiry right which is weekly next that is 24th november which is also a monthly expiry tremendous amount of uh, call writing at 18400 and above but option chain overall looks balanced so lot of call writing right so op option chain for sure is bearish because 30 million calls 15 million puts so overall it is bearish pcr is neutral but mind you it is coming from the old puts right so let's also look at some more interday oi so last three days it's been calls massively it is not puts that is something we have to be aware of so lot of recent call writing above 18400 uh, so resistance at 18400 right no questions asked this is very obvious uh, and but we also have to acknowledge the fact that there is support at 8300 hold on one second i'm so sorry one second. Uh, so now let's look at option chain this is what it looks like now let's look at fi data this is what it looks like so open interest pcr is at 0.9 it is neutral at very best not bullish not bearish kind of neutral finally let's look at fi data uh, 16th november that is yesterday's data let's refresh it 1002 it has come out it should happen yes it has happened right so today again this is problem they sold 86000 calls and bought 27000 puts so yesterday it was looking bullish now it is looking bearish again so fi data is again looking bearish massive 
call selling and put buying bearish there are more calls now than puts now this is crazy right i haven't seen this in a while three days back more calls than put sorry puts than calls then more calls than puts in fact let's go back five days yahan pe puts more than calls yahan pe calls more than puts yahan pe puts more than calls yahan pe calls more than puts yesterday calls more than put now puts more than calls this flip flopping is not very common so there's a lot of uncertainty i suppose right and basically uh basically everything is looking thoda uh, confusing but today's activity is definitely bearish fi futures data 400 cr sell mildly bearish of course fi stock data 600 crore buy kind of bullish sorry verdict it is extremely extremely tricky so yaar honestly if you put a gun on my head i would say be long but why be long with options especially when you are losing theta every day so you can be long with so if you are bullish now right you can be long with a call spread because theta dk is low so verdict is uh, wait for the breakout or the retracement no point in paying premiums and losing time value till then and my trades would be if i if bullish bias take bull call spreads if bearish bias take bear put spreads the reason why i'm saying this is it's stuck in a range and you don't really want to pay uh take i mean ideally don't trade ideally don't trade till we find a breakout right that is for top most and if bullish bias then you take bull call spreads if bearish bias take bear put spreads but don't you know don't uh, don't too much jump into a trade when you clearly don't know कि कौन सा करना है राइट सो फॉर मी आई वुड रादर वेट टिल अ क्लियर डायरेक्शन एमर्जेस देन ट्राई टू जंप इन एंड बी बिकॉज लुक एट इट राइट एनी बडी हु जम्प इन एंड आई थिंक वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस मंडे राइट ऑन मंडे वी हैड सेट दैट डोंट टेक एनी स्प्रेड फॉर दिस वीक बिकॉज यही पे रहेगा पूरा प्रीमियम डी हो जाएगा और आपका लॉस होगा राइट बट इफ यू टुक नेक्स्ट वीक स्प्रेड then it made sense why because theta dk is very less so in any case don't pay the theta that is super important so let me again see if there is a bull call spread play for november i mean to say november 24th expiry yeah you can see this right so if you do this thing we have to wonder how much is the theta dk so uh Is this multiplied by lot size? Right. So, two hundred and so sorry. Uh, let me just go to. So, let's say tomorrow morning you enter it or something, and man, लीजिए कि Tuesday तक यही रहा अटक गया. Even then, you are losing only thousand bucks, right? Compared to a buy call, where you'll be losing like three times as much money. So, if you want to be bullish and you don't want to miss out, try trading a spread of twenty fourth November. or even 1st december right because the theta is even lower so you see this right a 1st december spread agar yahi pe raha till tuesday then you will only lose 400 rupees so your theta dk is minimal right so uh, basically i would say if you are playing the background but you think ki it is going to happen after some time yahi pe rahega then play try to play with a longer term option right uh, don't play with a short term option theta will kill you uh, and longer term option is nice because theta dk is minimal so it will capture the breakout so mma is asking what do you suggest for tomorrow yaar agar breakout nahi hua to hum zabardasti breakout ho gaya aise assume karke khelenge to fight hoga why i like bull call spread if you have a bullish bias is this so let's say the breakout happens eventually right then you will make money on this let's say it went up 2% 3% whatever on 
next week somewhere in the middle right let's say thursday next thursday tak gaya so you will make 3k type profit right which is not bad uh, for a first december spread now let's say that you are wrong right aur kal hi aap galat sabit ho gaye right ki kal subah uh, 80 930 am close and uh so let's say tomorrow market 1% gir gaya not bad right you are only losing 1000 bucks and you can immediately get out so even if market falls tomorrow 1% if you are doing a bull call spread you will lose very little and eventually breakout agar ho gaya तो एक बार ब्रेकआउट होने के बाद आप उसको पकड़ के रखो लेट इट गो हाउ मच एवर इट वॉन्ट्स एंड यू मेक अ लॉट ऑफ मनी सो बेसिकली अ बुल कॉल स्प्रेड इज अट्रेटी बट इफ यू आर रॉन्ग यू लूज वेरी लिटल एंड यू कैन गेट आउट इमीडिएटली बट इफ यू आर राइट यू कैन होल्ड ऑन टू इट फॉर द टू वीक्स वेन एक्सपायरी इज यू नो गोइंग अप एंड यू नो यू कैन प्ले दैट थिंग सारे के सही यूएसए मार्केट इज वर्ल्ड क्रूड डाउन बाई थ्री परसेंट डॉलर एंड यू मूविंग अप यूर आई डोंट नो सो लेट्स जस्ट सी बिकॉज यू आर सेंग दिस आई जस्ट लुक एट एस जी एक्स राइट एसडीएक्स इज लार्जली फ्लैट यार कुछ हुआ नहीं मतलब नाउ लेट मी फाइनली लुक एट यूएसडी एन आर सो यूएसडी एन आर इज मूविंग अप यूएसडी एन आर इज डेफिनेटली मूविंग एंड वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट टू डेज बैक दैट यहां पे सपोर्ट है बिकॉज़ व्हाई 50 डीएमए दिस कैंडल एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा नाउ सॉरी 100 डीएमए इट इज पॉसिबल दैट यूएसडी विल माइट गो अप फर्दर राइट बट after this level of course it can go up further yesterday it was like this inverted hammer it has confirmed that so usd i think might just go up a little bit more it's not a time to short usd uh let me see if there's anything so again once again it's almost 11 o'clock sorry about starting so late because 10 o'clock is when nse release the data so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow or uh, tomorrow sunday with the monday's analysis uh, i hope this uh, week turns out great uh, for you in terms of trading um uh and as nagajane is as, asking why is uh, angel not working so angel has uh, changed their login apis uh, uh, for all third parties so we are awaiting i mean it's not just us uh, us uh, streak small case every other algo or non algo provider everybody is you know kind of stuck at the login page but if you want to access you can go to angel brokings log into angel booking then find sensible inside their terminal and access it it will work just like that uh uh number 7 number 80 oh, i think i think i made a mistake in the date 18 number 18 number right so yeah so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again on sunday thanks guys so much for joining as usual please take care and keep your capital safe bye